Hi, everybody. I know this just started live, so no one's going to be here yet. So I'm going to give everybody a few minutes to hop on. It is Friday. It says I am now live. Let's see. I keep getting messages. If anyone shows up, let's see. I have a old dog who is making noise in the next room and I keep getting messages. <laughs> oh boy. Oh, here we go. Hello, Garbiter. What's going on? Hi, Darcy from Iowa. <laughs> How are you guys doing? What are you all up to? How's your weather in Iowa? Let me know, Darcy. Let's see. Oh, hi, Gidget. What's going on? Why does your name look different? It says gar Garbiter. Garbiter. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> How are you doing, Gidget? Gidget, what city or what ta what state are you in? Hi, Suzanne. It's beautiful, 70-ish. Yeah, oh, California. Hi, Stephanie, how are you? Hi, Angela, Wisconsin, my neighbor to the north. It was like in the 60s here today and it was kind of rainy, doing crystal shawl. Oh, you had to change your name, okay. Ohio, we used to call that O10 when I was growing up. <laughs> um. Yeah, so it was in the 60s today and kind of a spotty rain. And then for the next like four days. Hey, sweet Carolyn. Uh, it's supposed to be in the 70s here. So Carolyn is my local yarn buddy. So y'all say hi to Carolyn. There's only like five people on here. <laughs> Carolyn, what are you working on? I know you're not crocheting, right? Carolyn has an injury that is preventing her from crocheting. <clears throat> 80s this weekend, Darcy. I am so jealous. Although we can't really go from like 40 to 80. I mean, we have done that before, but. <laughs> <clears throat> All right. It says there's 11 people on here, but only four people are commenting. Everyone say hello. Pauline, hi, how you doing? Crystal shawl is beautiful, isn't it? Oh, rainy and cold. What yarn are you guys using for crystal shawl? Hey, Ashley, how you doing? There's Casually Crafted. Hi, Cecilia, how are you? All things Valerie. Do you have a YouTube channel? Let me know, Valerie. I don't have my iPad here, so I can't like put links in or anything. Didn't get a notification. So then why, how did you find out that like, what did you do? Were you just on YouTube? Oh, Expression Fiber Arts Alpaca Silk. Crystal gifted me some EFA yarn. It's so pretty. But I don't think it's alpaca silk. All things Valerie, do you have a YouTube channel? I'm going to get a pen so I can write notes. <laughs> so I can look you up if you do. How was the eclipse? Oh my God, the eclipse was amazing. Carolyn, it was incredible. We drove uh, four and a half hours to... Um, oh, on your homepage. Okay. We drove four and a half hours. Um, my daughter and I drove four and a half hours to a very small town in Southeast Illinois. <laughs> and, uh, we just had an amazing experience because we were in the path of totality. So it was great. Okay. So all things Valerie does not have a YouTube channel. That's okay. I assume your name is Valerie. <laughs> Hi, nice to meet you, Valerie. <laughs> Um, 
So yeah, we were going to go to Carbondale, Illinois. Um, you had hundred percent just walked out your back door. Oh my gosh. I'm so jealous. How long was yours for Gidget? For 100%. We, we drove four and a half hours to get a little over two minutes of totality. And then it took us like six hours to get back. <laughs> Using drops, bell, cotton, visco, six colors, already swapped colors. Very nice. Pauline, are you in the Facebook group for Rose Likes Crochet? I would love to see what it looks like. Ooh, three minutes, 29 seconds. Um, Darcy, we were going to go to Carbondale and then at the last minute we changed our minds because it was going to be like, I mean, that town is crazy big and everyone was going to be going to Carbondale. So we decided that we could not have the extra two minutes and not have the headache of all the crowds in Carbondale. So we went to a small town called Marshall, Illinois. Hi, CD. How are you? Hi, Deborah. How are you? CD, you're in, um, are you in Thailand? Tell me where you're from again. And your name is actually Rose. I think your name is Rose. I think your name is Rose like me. <laughs> I think if I'm thinking of the right person. So whoever is doing the um, crochet along from Crystal, um, I know that you guys are probably, post if you're on Facebook and you're posting it in Crystal's Facebook group, but can you post it in my group too if you're, if you're not, oh, Philippines, that's right. Oh my gosh. I haven't seen you post in a long time. So I'm glad to see you. <laughs> um, but yeah, post in the Facebook group, in my Facebook group, because I want to see it. I do, I do. Yes, I knew your name was Rose. Ah! <laughs> Hi, Ellen. How are you? Ellen Yarn Over Hooks. Do you have a YouTube channel? Okay, there's 27 people here and no one's chatting. <laughs> oh, there, Carolyn is going to say hi to everybody. <laughs> you guys, Carolyn is one of my local Yarny friends. She's actually, I don't call her a Yarny friend anymore. She's just my friend. Oh, Ellen, you have a YouTube channel. So I was just telling everyone in the chat, I don't have my um, iPad, so I can't put links in here, but um, Ellen... But when, when the live is over, I will put your link. Oh, but what you don't have, um, but have never something. But I can still go and subscribe to you. Yarn over hooks. When are you going to make a video? That's what we want to know. Never gone live. Oh, but you have like, you have videos, right? Did you see my comment above? Color by number. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's good. That's not going to injure you anymore. So Ellen Yarn Over Hooks, I will link your YouTube channel if I can find it um, after the live is over and then I'll go subscribe to you. How many subscribers do you have? Hi, Judith. Montreal. Oh, hi. Oh, thank you so much, Jax. Oh my gosh, you guys, everyone go and check out Jax. She is my moderator which I don't really need a moderator, but Jax offered to do it for me. So Jax, thank you so much. She just put a link for Ellen Yarn Over Hooks. And I'm pretty sure I'm not subscribed because I've never heard of the channel before. But as soon as this is over, I'm going to go and subscribe. Thank you, Jaxie Poo. Hi, Bountiful Crochet Creations. Bountiful Crochet Creations. Do you have a channel? Let me know. My channel is new, only 17. Okay, well, it's not like I'm like Crystal and I can get 100 people to go over there and subscribe, but anyone who's on here can go over and subscribe. Oh, you texted Paula. Okay, Paula's not going to come on this live. Paula is out playing pickleball or, or doing something. <laughs> okay, Bountiful Crochet Creations has a channel too. And I don't think I'm subscribed. Why are you guys not coming over to my channel and saying, hi, hey, I have a channel so that I can go check you out? I'm kidding. <laughs> you don't have to. You only have 37 subscribers. Okay, well, after tonight, you will definitely have 38 because I will go and subscribe. Oh, there's Paula. I'm sitting on the couch watching you. <laughs> uh, Ellen, you are definitely ready for prime time. Prime time is... Uh, just put out more videos. That's all we want. We just want to see videos. 
Hold on. Pauline says, yes, I am. I will show you when I've got the second video done. I'm from England, by the way. Just stopped up at 2, 2 a.m. Oh, my God, Pauline. You're making, do you have a YouTube channel too? Second video done. Okay. Yes. Um, Sidi Aki, who is named Rose in the Philippines, also has a channel. So let me make sure I write her down too. Everyone needs to be um, linked when we get off. Oh, there's Bountiful Bountiful Crochet Creations. Jax just put the link in there. So Paula and Carolyn, are either one of you going to come up on the live with me? <laughs> Hi, Pikachu. How are you? Oh, there's Pauline. Okay, so did I miss something? Pauline. Pauline. Pauline, pretty... Pretty ritual. Pa I need to write these down so that I can find you guys afterwards. Hold on. Pauline's pretty ritual. <laughs> Who's coming up to hang out with me on the panel? Anyone can come up. You don't have to have a channel to come up and um, talk on the talk here. <laughs> Carolyn, are you coming? Paula, are you coming? Bountiful Crochet Creations. Pauline, anyone? Hi, Aussie Sandy. How are you? Oh, you're a sweetheart, too. You guys are all sweet. Does anyone want to come up and be a, a guest up here and chit-chat with me? I'm already in bed. Oh, you've been up since five? Carolyn Jax, I don't know if Jax wants to come up. Carolyn, do you want to come up? You're not doing anything. <laughs> oh my gosh. So someone asked what I was working on and I'm not working on anything right now because that's why I'm doing a live video. So I had a long day and um, I love your channel. Oh, thank you so much. Oh, Jax is cooking. So she's not gonna come up and chat with us. Jax, what are you making? I haven't gone live in a while, so I figured instead of starting on another crochet project that I would come up here. So I was making some worry worms. Oh, you probably can't see that one too good because my hoodie is lime green. So I was making worry worms because for the month of April for wings, ooh, tacos, yum. Um, for the month of April for wings, they are asking for worry worms, stress balls, and fidget toys. And I had a bunch of scraps that I hadn't put in my scrap bin yet. So I made a bunch of worry worms. I think I made 10, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And I went to the, um, oh, thank you, Ellen. Um, I don't have a channel. I fell asleep earlier, just woke up, thought I would see who's online. Oh, Oh, I love it. Oh, thank you. I love the loveies too. Um, there is a Facebook group called Random Acts of Crochet Kindness. Hi, Rachel. And they have like a whole file if you go in there, if you guys are interested in doing like little things. And they have like files where you can print out, um, you can save like a PDF and then print out what the sayings are in here. So um, I just printed it on like plain paper. I don't even know if you guys can see what it says. Um, let's see. I'm trying to get it so that you guys can read it. But if you go, if you're not on Facebook, I'm sure you can Google it or go on Pinterest. And then um, I know these are usually used like the random acts of crochet kindness. That's usually used like if you leave these in like a grocery store or in a park or something. And then people are supposed to go to this Facebook group and like post what they found. Um, but I'm donating these to Wings. So I have these little worry worms. <laughs> um, and I just had little googly eyes. I just hot glued them on there. Send me the link and I'll come on. You have to send me an email, Carolyn. Roselikescrochet at gmail.com. Gidget gives worry worms to her clients. Yeah, that's so cool. Like, I think I would like to make more and actually leave them places, like as random acts of crochet kindness. Um, but I'm trying to get ready for craft fairs. So <laughs> I just made these 10. I mean, they were so quick and easy. It was ridiculous how easy it was. 
Um, here's another one. The thing about these, you guys, is I didn't even weave in any ends. So like the first, I mean, it's like, it's, okay, so you guys have to do, I think um, Hooked by Robin is the tutorial that I used for the worry worms. And like the beginning tail and the ending tail end up in the same spot. So I just tied it in a bow. So I didn't even weave in any ends. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, you guys hold on because Carolyn is coming up here. Hold on just a second. Let's see. Okay, do you, can you guys hear me now? I hit the I hit the wrong button. Can you hear me now? Can you hear me now? <laughs> Can't hear. Can you hear me now, anyone? All right, can you hear me now. Okay, there you are. Okay. Hi, unique, amazing stripes. There's my my good friend Carolyn. Everyone say hi to Carolyn. Um, okay, so everyone says yes. Hi, Mindfully Crocheted. You know, I can't remember your name because you were up here last time. Unique Amazing Stripes. Oh, my God. That sounds so cool. Do you have a channel? Um, <clears throat> Mindfully Crocheted has a channel, you guys. Go check her out. Okay, sound is back. All right. Hi, Kristen. All right. So we were talking about these worry worms. So anyway, easiest thing ever because no ends to weave in. You just need to have like a hot glue gun or you don't even need a hot glue gun. You can just like get black yarn and make like the little knots. Like oh, yeah. The They're knots. so fun. I was working on some on a flight the last time I traveled and ended up giving one to somebody across the aisle. <laughs> I mean, this one looks a little psychotic with the pink eyes, but whatever. Someone someone will just have to deal with it, right? Hi, everybody. And so everyone, this is my friend, Carolyn. Okay, Unique Amazing Stripes has a channel. Okay, so I need to write all these down. Jax is putting links um, in the chat, you guys. Unique Amazing Stripes. How many videos do you have? And what is your name, Unique Amazing Stripes? <clears throat> I'm sure your name is not Unique Amazing Stripes. <laughs> oh, hi, oh, no, Paula. I love it. Paula's in here again. And Pauline, okay, here. There we go. So I think I got these googly eyes from the dollar store, you guys. And then just use scrap yarn. It takes like very little. Faith. Okay, unique, amazing stripes is Faith. <clears throat> so Ooh, my best friend's name is Faith. What? Whose name is Faith? My best friend. Oh, uh, I've known cool. her since I was five. Cool. I'm working on my first video for my channel. Okay, Gidget, you gotta let us know when you're when you've got it going. <clears throat> so here is my rec here is my advice to anyone who has a channel and your first name is not in the name of your channel. Like not everyone can be Rose Likes Crochet or Faith Likes Crochet or whatever, right? So a lot of people comment on my videos and they don't ever say what their first name is. So I never get to know who anyone is. <clears throat> because like if you just leave a comment and your unique amazing stripes and you never say oh by the way my name is faith i'll never know like what your name is and then my other piece of advice is when you do a youtube video um make sure you introduce yourself and you tell people what your name is <laughs> because and i know jane from scraptastic yarns is always like harping on people for like she can't figure out what their name is they don't say it in their video like it makes you more personable and not that I'm personable, um, <laughs> but you know That's what I mean? Like, 
it just <laughs> helps like if you can put like a name to a face right and not yes. just be like oh, i've gone back is... and like looked at previous videos to try to find somebody's name so yeah, I, and I've I looked totally like in their agree. about section and I can never like, I'm just like, I don't even know who I'm talking to. Or even where <laughs> they're located, like well, in the and US I or guess, international. I guess where they're located isn't like as important. Like, I guess it maybe is if you're doing like a yarn haul, like if you're doing a yarn haul and you could be like, okay, so I'm in the US, that way we know, like if you're in the UK and you name a store, and it's not anywhere in the US, you should probably say this is in the in, in the UK. You know what I mean? But we don't need to know like what street you live on. I mean, unless <laughs> you're inviting us for a barbecue. Well, uh, then we will definitely bring a project. <laughs> we'll come, but, uh, oh, thanks, Ellen. I, she says, you are very personable. Can you see the chat, Carolyn? Yeah. Oh, okay. Um, so I mean, Jax, like watch any one of her videos and she'll tell you all about her whole life in like the first two minutes because <laughs> she's so cute and bubbly. And it's not like you have to do that either. You don't have to say like spill your guts about everything, but you know, it helps if someone knows your name. Yeah. Well, we Refuge, want you to be you, right? Like, right. Refuge is my favorite and she loves you. Oh my God. Mm -hmm. Hi, Carrie. Carrie the Yarny Elephant. Um, Refuge, I got to meet Refuge. Um, she was actually in Chicago for a, a stopover. She was going to, what is that Fiber Fest in New York? The big famous one. Mm. You can't put me on the spot like that. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm thinking maybe someone in the chat will tell us. What stitches? Is. No, what is Stitches isn't a thing anymore. Is. It's that famous one. It's like the wool and sheep festival, but they call it something else where everyone like has to make their fancy sweaters and show up. And yeah, um, <laughs> you can tell I'm not interested in anything <laughs> like that. Right. Um, but she was visiting someone in Boston and then they were going to that. Um, oh, Ryan Beck. There yes, it is. Thank Ryan you. Beck. Thanks, Tara. Thank you, Tara, because brain fart. Um, and she stopped. Uh, she had a layover in Chicago for like three, three or four hours and um wool and folk fest okay also known as Rainbeck. and so um i took off work early and went and picked her up at midway airport which is one of our two big airports here in chicago and i made her eat portillos and uh and I, i'm convinced you take all your friends to portillos <laughs> oh, and i love it my, all love of my it. victims i take them to portillos um <laughs> And then, uh, and then I brought her back to Midway so she could go back, um, go to Boston. So I did get to meet Refuge. She's a pretty amazing person. Yeah. Yeah, I've had a lot um, of fun watching her since uh, since you mentioned her on your channel. Yeah, she's amazing. Whittle Stitch. Uh, ah, Rose, I totally forgot to email you for stitch markers, but I'm glad I caught your live. What do you need? What do you need, Whittle Stitch? Let me know, and let, you gotta let me know your name. My daughter is going to Japan and buying me yarn only available there. Ooh, that is awesome. That is so awesome. I actually, um, side story, I don't have any yarn stories from Japan, but I did get to go to Japan a long time ago. And I was telling this to someone the other day, like I brought home like Japanese bubble gum and I still haven't opened up the pack because I'm like afraid I'll never be able to find the bubble gum again. <laughs> So I have bubble gum from Japan and I also had like these little mini Coke cans, like, you know, like a, like a Coke can is like a 12 ounce can. And these were like really tall and skinny. And I like yes. smuggled those back from Japan too. But I think someone drank those, which I'm fine with, but the gum, I just can't, I can't seem to open up the packs of gum. Like I'm sure now with like the internet and like Etsy and whatever, Amazon, I could probably find it again, but and I bet you there's no flavor left in them because it's literally like 20 year old gum. <laughs> it reminds terrible. me of the Toys R Us striped gum. Like as soon as, oh, you, as, soon oh as it hits your mouth, gosh. it's all over. <laughs> oh my gosh. So everyone in the chat, what are you all working on? Let me know. Some A couple people said uh, Crystal's crochet along. Sorry, you guys. I keep getting notifications here. Um. Carolyn is doing a color by number. Yeah. Tell your daughter oh, to look iPad. for this. Can you see? Oh, okay. It's an electron. I thought it's, you were. Yeah, it's an app oh. called Happy Color. 
Well, I'm getting ready to read my next Stephen King book. I don't know if you guys actually read or not, but this is going to be my next Stephen King book. Oh, I don't know. Um, hi, Allison. Oh, my gosh. Allison is my friend from Scotland, and she always watches me at stupid, crazy hours. And then she says it in the comments. <laughs> it's stupid o'clock over here, and I'm watching. <laughs> Allison, what time is it over there? Someone's knitting a baby sweater. Hi, Kimberly. Oh, my God. I love you guys. Crystal and I just put a blanket in timeout. Oh, you, oh, you put a blanket in timeout. <laughs> Oh my gosh. I love the Stephen King movies, but my mom reads the books, including Richard Bachman. Yeah, that was his like his fake name. Um, I I don't know about you guys with books, but I like Stephen King is like, like I need to marry Stephen King. So I need to be able to pick his brain and find out what goes on in there. But I don't usually like to watch Stephen King movies because oh. they can't make it as freaky scary as what is in the book. Like ever. He's actually a good follow on Twitter. Like uh, so he has some interactions with fans there and uh, just post things not related to his writing, but it gets helps you to get to know him as an author a little bit. But all you have to do is read like two of his books and you'd be like, this is the most twisted mind in like the history of humankind. And he seems like such a nice guy. Yeah, but there's something, I uh, mean, so, yeah. there's, he's, he's like almost like a savant, you know what I mean? Like the way he writes his books. I just finished a book called The Fairy Tale. Holy crap. Yes. I was clapping and screaming and crying at the end of the book. Yeah. Like my daughter was like, what the hell is wrong with you? And I'm like, oh my God, it's so good. <laughs> <laughs> Mom, it's time for bed. No, I just have one more chapter. <laughs> oh my gosh. Me too, Ellen. If I read Stephen King, I don't know that I would sleep again. Oh no, you can sleep because you know, this stuff that he talks about will never ever happen in real life, but he makes it seem like it, it could. Mm, right. you know what I mean? <laughs> my, my brain will, will tell me it's true. And it, it could Hi happen Bridget, Queens moment. Crafts by Bridget is here. How are you? Oh, my oh did you see the regretful yarn addict joined us? Kim, Kim, you better Kim. send me, someone better send me, Kim, you better send me an email so I can send you the link to join us up here. You didn't miss anything. You need to come up here. You have to email me, roselikescrochetgmail.com, so I can send you the link. Oh, um, Allison, it's 2.18 a.m. Oh, Allison, oh. that's not silly o'clock. You're fine. <laughs> this, is the, this is the other one that I'm going to read after I'm done with the other one. Mm. Uh, such a prolific writer. I had no idea how many books he had. Well, I have, um, I collect all his hardcovers. Like I'm that much of a fanatic. So I have an entire bookcase that is all Stephen King hardcovers. Oh, so I can come over and borrow a book? And, um, and I don't I'll, know. I, don't I, don't, the and I will take it. I don't yeah. normally borrow my Stephen King books out because I'm literally a hardcore collector of Stephen King books. Yeah. Kim, yeah okay. I definitely can understand. Okay. Carolyn, you go ahead and take this show because I'm going to uh, get Kim on here. Hold on. Okay. Oh gosh, mid eighties this weekend. Where are you, Anthony? Making granny squares from leftover hand dyed yarn. Oh, I'm always afraid of hand dyed yarn or like ones that are like wound in hanks. I need to get over my fear of that. Hey, Jennifer. Oh yeah, Missouri. We're Hi, Anthony. Oh my God. Anthony is like my, he's my weather saver because anytime there's any kind of weird storms coming, he is uh, DMing me on Instagram. Hey, Rose, beware of this. <laughs> I'm like, Anthony, I got it, man. I am on the weather channel all the time too. So crazy weather. Yes. But Anthony, at least there is no, um, no tornadoes. Mm. And we did not get the earthquake that New York got. So it's all good. Have Rachel you read wants to know if you've read the cell. Hat? Yeah, that's like yeah. old hat. Oh my gosh. Jefferson City, Missouri. Um, I'm like that with Terry Pratchett. Terry Pratchett. Oh, you just won't lend them out. What oh, kind okay. of what kind of books does she write, Allison? Terry Pratchett. I don't know why I've never heard of that. I'm only into this freaky stuff like this. Like it. Like, yeah, hold on. We have someone coming in. 
<gasps> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. It's Kim, the regretful yarn addict. Hello. Hi. Really? What are you doing? <laughs> like not paying attention. I was muting my, my laptop. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, like, let me fix the lighting. Woman, talk to us. <laughs> Hi. He does disc world fantasy. Ooh. See, I'm oh, you got the earthquake in New Jersey. That's crazy. Love seeing you with Lisa and Gary. Oh my gosh. Uh, I did not feel the quake. Everyone else did. Oh, Ellen, are you in New York? That is so wild. From Wisconsin. Hi, Denise. Okay. Um, I don't Kim, can you see the chat? I can, but it's over, it's over on the side. Okay. Now I'm gonna have to put my glasses on because I can't see it. Okay, everyone's saying hi to you. Kim, I hi, love hi. You on the hi. Today. I can't even my glasses are all sticky and I just I feel like I'm gross. I was out cutting the grass and but then I saw you were live and I was like, I see a tail wagging in the back. Oh, Who is that? that? Oh, that's Dorcas. That's Dorcas? Yeah. Well, I can't really see Dorcas. I Dorcas just see Dorcas. a tail wagging. I, uh, yeah. She, she's, I, I didn't even close the door. I'm like, everybody can walk in, whatever. <laughs> So wh whoever is in the chat, there's 61 people in the chat. Look at me, anyone's just... Oh my God. You're using us as your mirror now? <laughs> I can't I can't see, so. Oh my God. So it was okay. just like a brush. My literary obsession is Guy Gavriel K. Mm -hmm. Okay, so Denise, what kind of um, books does that person write? I love all, oh, I love all of your channels. Thank you. Thank did you. you. The, Anthony, the crochet spotter. Did you see the partial eclipse? I was actually drove four and a half hours to be in the path of totality. So my daughter and I saw it for a little over two minutes. Yes, it was one of the most incredible experiences of my life. See, that's how I felt about the last one. This one, it was like, there was still just a little bit of the sun showing and it was yeah. done in like 30 seconds. Hi, Tia. So um, we, my daughter had been talking about this for probably a year. So we, we had been planning to do this for at least a year. Like as soon as one of her science teachers told her it was coming to Southern Illinois, she was on my case. So we, we had to go. Um, and being like, you know, cause you have to have your glasses on when it's partial, right? Like you have to keep your glasses on. But then like once the moon completely covered it, like everyone took like everyone where we were at started clapping and they took it was like ooh ah like everyone was just like in total awe yeah it was amazing yeah kimberly said she saw it too it was crazy cool hey guys do you want to something my crochet name sure jennifer do you have a youtube channel are you talking about a nickname <laughs> let us know such a happy place. Oh, We're trying yes, here. We're trying. Fiction with a twist of fantastical. I don't know. Like, I'm not about um, historic. Like, Stephen King can pull in history in some of his books, but he's just a freak, man. Kim, we were talking about the book, that the next book that I'm going to be reading. What is it? Stephen King. Yeah, but what is it? If It Bleeds. Oh, you know, I used to love Stephen King until I read, I think, Pet Cemetery. <laughs> and then I was like, it, I, I was just so disturbed. <laughs> well, that, but also it, it got to the point for me, like it was all the same stuff, just a different setting. So I had to take a break from him. Mm. But yeah. then I read Cell. Oh my God, that was good. Yeah. Yeah, I just finished reading Fairy Tale and I was telling everyone that I was clapping and crying and screaming in the like the last three chapters. My daughter was like, What the hell is wrong with you? <laughs> Hi, Lisa. Oh man, spring, the fiber enthusiast. What's up, my friend? She always shows up to my lives. I hope I'm not am I interrupting anyone else's lives? I don't even pay attention to that. Isn't that terrible? I'm such a horrible YouTuber. 
No, you're not. I don't well, know clearly, we want to be here with you. So, well, but I don't yeah. know. I'd like take it. You know, if anyone else is doing a live, does anyone know? In well, the that's their problem. <laughs> High five, Kim. <laughs> Ginny loved fairy tales. So good, Ginny. Did you clap like and cry and like? Were you just like so stressed out at the end? Oh my god, it was amazing. Pet cemetery messed me up. <laughs> you should read Ted Decker. Okay, Ted. Ted Decker, what kind of, what kind of book is that? Yeah. Uh, oh. Ted yeah, Decker. Favorite is three. Huh. Yes. She said yes. She was screaming, crying, and moaning and groaning all at the last three chapters. This is really selling me on reading this book. Fairy tale. I'm going to be stressed out, screaming, clapping. It is. It is. The start has. Like there's no, it doesn't go from A to, to B to C. That's all I'm going to say. It goes everywhere else. Yeah. Crazy. Okay. Um, thank you everyone for the book suggestions. <laughs> Has anyone found any good yarn deals lately besides Kim? <laughs> I haven't found any lately. So, Although I do have, I have an ice yarn haul coming up Sunday. Ooh. Oh, really? What kind of yarn did you get? Pretty. Okay. Isn't it all? <laughs> that was so lame, Kim. <laughs> oh my God. I, uh, that sounds a little bit like you when you're shopping though. Ooh, look at it, it's so pretty. <laughs> you know, I just did, I just ordered yarn because I need it like a hole in my head. And the reason I ordered, and Carolyn, you'll know this because I've been talking me and Philip and Paula and Carolyn have been talking about knit picks and we crochet and there's a yarn. Dishy? Huh? Did you buy any dishy? I did not buy dishy because I have a bunch of dishy. Oh, the Brava, good. all the Brava line was on sale for like 20% off. And I know 20% off is not a good deal, but it's the best deal that I've seen in a long time. And I like the Brava worsted. Mm -hmm. And it was all 20% off is better than paying full price. And it was free shipping. I'm oh. just saying. Hmm. Yeah. Um, always a plus. So they have these big 500 gram balls. They're I don't even know what they're called, but they're like it's like a pound of love or something. It's like that. Yeah, like a Brava 500. Brava 500, and mm -hmm. uh, it just feels so nice, and it's such nice yarn, and it was all on sale. So I did get some Brava 500s, and they had some. Is it Brava Tweed? Brava Stripe? Brava? I don't know. All the Brava stuff was on sale. So. I bravo just, for buying the bravo bravo <laughs> um ellen is waiting on her little knits she forgot what she ordered that's okay ellen i forget all the time what is little knits little knits is the yarn shop that crystal talks about all the time oh okay it's in like seattle right kim do you don't know you don't know i think it's i have no seattle. idea she orders a lot of like um wool based yarns and oh, okay. I always watch them, but I don't ever buy from Little Knits. So, yes, yeah, Seattle. Jax, is that by you? Because you live up in, like, that area. If you like, um, you know, stuff with wool, like hand-dyed and, and um, Barocco and, you know, those kinds. That's I like cheap. What? Yes. I like cheap yarn. She gets it's them for very like cheap. Yeah. She gets them for cheap, high-end yarn, great deals, 15 miles south of... Oh. <gasps> wow. Jax, you shut up. How come you didn't say that? We could be getting, like, the deals from you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lisa's five hours from Little Knits. Now wow. I just ship it. I have not bought it. yarn in four years. 30-pound bale of fiber. How Bridget, how much is a 30-pound bale of fiber? Italian 30 pounds 30 pounds of yarn but that's oh, just the well, fiber like the premier butterfly too premier butterfly monday i'm going to my little yarn shop to buy my local yarn shop to buy my first fancy hank mm, nice rachel do you have any thoughts on what you're gonna what like are you looking for a specific weight of yarn or color or 250 dollars well, she's going to dye it and spin it. 
Yeah, that's a lot of work and that's a lot of money. She makes beautiful yarn though, you guys. I still have my hank. I haven't decided what to do with it. I feel like some things are displayable and not usable. <laughs> like I just want to look at it. It's very pretty. Me too. Well, all my hanks are hanging up over there and yeah. it's like that's what they say. Yeah, that, like I did that with uh, Rose's stitch markers. Like I probably use the same one all the time, but I made like a, a frame so I could see them all. Um, Bridget dyes, her, her yarn is beautiful, the yarn that she dyes. I just bought a hank of yarn off of her. But here's the thing with hand dyed, like, you know, Kim and I, we do craft fairs and you can't really, um, nope. sorry, said hi and my phone kicked me off. Oh, that's okay, Spring, no problem. <laughs> Let us know if you wanna come up. Um, uh, Bountiful crochet, I agree, Carolyn. I want super wash merino any weight. I wanna crochet myself a sweater. Yes. Very good, that's awesome, Rachel. If you're in the Facebook group, you gotta like, if you're not, join the Facebook group so we can see what you guys are buying. Um, but when we do craft fairs, it's hard to use fancy, expensive <laughs> yarn because people don't want to pay a lot of money at craft fairs for things. Um, and that's um, Little Knits is where to get wool by the pack. Oh, okay. Is that for like dyeing, Jack, to dye, to dye, to dye yarn? It makes my heart dance with joy when my friends make something beautiful with my yarn. Aww. That's sweet. Anniversary weekend and the husband is here. Yes. Aw, happy anniversary, Spring. Happy anniversary. That's awesome. How many years? That yeah, reminds I'm, me of Lisa's videos. If today is your birthday, happy birthday. Happy birthday. <laughs> if today is your anniversary, happy birthday. Happy anniversary to you both. <laughs> you know, when Gary and I were at her house, we actually said that, and she cut that out on, on uh, she didn't post that. Part oh, on. <laughs> oh, she has baked yarn, too. What is baked yarn? Baked. Baked? Like Ooh. in the oven? 18 oh, married, so 20 that's years great. total. Oh, that's amazing, Spring. Happy anniversary. Happy anniversary. Naked. Oh, <laughs> not <laughs> baked yarn. Naked yarn. <laughs> I was like, how do you bake yarn? <laughs> Poof. Awesome. All that money up in the <laughs> You put a little oregano in it. <laughs> You can't go wrong with some Italian seasoning. <laughs> Wait for it to melt and get gooey in your oven. <laughs> Jack's on your next video. I want you to do that. Pretend like you're baking yarn. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. So it looks like not a whole lot of people are buying yarn. There's not a whole lot of good deals. I mean, mm -hmm. has anyone else like found any good deals? I haven't found... I mean, ice yarns is always a good deal, Kim. Yeah, but you have to buy so much of it to make it a really good deal. And that's a thing. What's wrong with that? Well, <laughs> money. <laughs> Whatever. Uh huh. <laughs> I know. I can always earn more of that. <laughs> I'll bake yarn as a 911 dispatcher. <laughs> oh my gosh. Wait, are, is Jax actually a dispatcher? I don't think so. Oh. I don't know. Jax is just. That caught my attention because my husband used to be a firefighter. So. Yeah. Uh, I have a lot of respect for 9-11 dispatchers. If that's what you are. But if not, uh, I missed the joke. So sorry. <laughs> Bake yard. Oh, my gosh. Um, I don't know. Like, I know there's. Uh, what did Crystal show? A new Karen Colorama something cake. She have you used it. the uh, Karen twist yet? I have not used it. I have like two of them. Yeah, me too. I snatched a Hirschner's deal on blanket and acrylic yarn. Mm. Percent coupon and free shipping. Good deal. Where was I got a catalog for Mary Maxim and they had blanket yarn on sale for $6.99, but there was no free shipping. And I was like, well, not today. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> not today. <laughs> Not today, Satan. 
Oh, she's not a dispatcher. She just plays one on TV. <laughs> you stayed in the Holiday Inn Express last night? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. I can only order about 2.4 kilograms from ice at a time due to customs. Oh, that stinks. What if someone sends you a yarn, Allison? Can you get more than 2.4 kilograms? I'm just saying. That's a good question. Hmm. <laughs> K and K crochet. Hey, how are you guys doing? If you, if anyone in the chat, oh, we have 72 people in the chat. Go and check out Hi. K and K crochet. Hi. They are pretty darn cool. They do a lot of charity work as well. So I'm going to have to see if I'm following that one. Hmm. Well, they're saying, hi, Carolyn. Hey, Kim. And anyone who's new in the chat, Carolyn does not have a channel. She is just my friend here in Chicago. She's not just your friend. She's, She's my your friend. She, well, she. I always call them my yarny friends. Right. right? So I, I, yes. I moved up in the friend chain. <laughs> yes. I okay. don't I don't like when people say it's just a friend or just it's just Kim. It's just Kim. Like that, it's just that's, Kim. All right, okay. Okay, I subscribed. Good to okay, go. Kim says you can bake yarn acrylic only, 250 degrees saturated and on dowel rods. That's how I do curly hair. Oh. On the dowel. You have to keep it up on a rack, but it's possible. Ew, oh. I would I would burn my house down. <laughs> or ruin my oven at the worst. Yeah, you know? I feel like I could be trusted with shrinky dinks and that's about it. Other than <laughs> I don't even know if I could do that. <laughs> Okay, CNY, Woman Knits and Crochets. First of all, hi, do you have a channel? She says, I ordered some Bernat blanket yarn from Walmart with my grocery order, so they ship the yarn to me for free. Oh, oh that's a good clever. idea. Clever. Oh. Clever. Elvis, whatever. Hi. Is your name Elvis or is it whatever? <laughs> oh, my gosh. You guys are so fun in the chat. Anyone who wants to come up, you just have to send me an email. We have room for six people up here. Um, I feel like I can't even see the chat. What? I can't see the chat because oh, my eyesight sucks. <laughs> yeah, it looks like everyone up here is wearing glasses. These are just reading right. glasses, but. Yeah, you know. like I feel you because look at this picture I'm trying to color. Like it, there's so many small spaces. Oh, you can't enlarge it? I can. Too many. Yeah. I'm trying to be good and use my pencil. Look at this. Oh, oh, oh that's so that's cute. cute. Oh, my God. Isn't that cool? Yeah. yeah. What is that? It's a flower. It's it's a flower head. Yeah, but it's, um, it's this pattern by, oh, God, false bubbles. And it's supposed to have like a stem with arms and legs that goes at the bottom but i i kind of like just yeah, like the really. pillow yeah hold it up again how big is it is it bigger than your head holy crap i feel like <laughs> you can leave this out you could have a nice like you know crown okay. around your face okay so i imagine all those pieces are made separately and you have to sew them together oh you yeah you would not want to do it no no you're right no because it's a pain in the butt to sew them yeah, no. And this is why I don't trust you when you tell me to do patterns. Hey, the gecko <laughs> is no so. <laughs> Hi, Carrie. <laughs> oh, my gosh. You and that damn chicken. <laughs> I love the chickens. <laughs> you know what? I'm waiting. You know the, the chickens that came in the kit for the knit? Uh, Those no. knit chickens? You've never no. seen them? Where, oh, my God. They come in a bucket oh the kit comes in a bucket like kfc oh and it has everything you need you know i, I don't think i don't think it comes with the the um needles but everything else that's in there and they finally have a crochet pattern oh but they don't have the kit together so i'm waiting because i want the chicken bucket you want a bucket of chickens mm. yes mm. i do okay. and the chickens are a lot bigger than my chickens too hi genie oh my gosh Chicken in a bucket is KFC yum. <laughs> Emotional support chicken. I don't know. Um, Lisa from Happy to Hook Creations, she told me about the, what is the other, there's another pattern. It's a page. She one. does Mabel. Ma yeah, Mabel. 
Yeah, it's just pretty much like the ones that I make, except yep. it's a little. Bye, Gidget. Have a good night. Bye. Bye. There was a, on Facebook today in my neighborhood, some, you know, there's like an everything for whatever your neighborhood is in, in Facebook. And someone was like, the KFC is on fire. <laughs> <laughs> and it wasn't. It was just a truck in the parking lot that caught on fire. <laughs> and I'm like, that is just God's way of telling you not to eat at KFC. <laughs> when I was living up in the Detroit area, we wanted KFC for dinner one night. So I went out, to, you know, going to go through the drive through to get it. They were out of chicken. Oh, how? Oh. How? And they were That's still open for business? Yeah. I said, you're a chicken place. How can you be out of chicken? That doesn't even make any sense. If you're a chicken nope. place and you run out of chicken, you, you close. Yeah. You say, we are now closed. That'd be like McDonald's run, running out of burgers. Or, or whatever. Yeah. Popeye's running out of chicken and then still having the drive up window open. <laughs> Allison says, I love your F-bombs, Rose. Thank you, Allison. I need to actually make some more. I just bought some more um, patches, F-patches. Yeah. See, you sewed your, show that again, Kim. You made your F. Yeah. Yes, I make my Fs. <laughs> <laughs> so when I oh, first started expert making... level with the F. <laughs> <laughs> when I first started making the F bombs, I was crocheting them as well, and they looked like crap. They didn't look as good as yours did. So then I well, realized. Well, this one is made with, you know, blanket yarn. It's big. Yeah, but still, but still, you have to sew the F onto the bomb, and I'm not good. You know how I am with sewing, right? I know. I know. <clears throat> so then, so then I realized I could just get the little patches, the little F patches at Hobby Lobby, and hot glue them on. And it made yeah, I was just gonna ask if you don't sew, because that would be even harder to sew. Uh yeah, no, I don't know. It's it's all hot glue gun. Okay. <laughs> Hi Cindy. What did she say? KFC KFC <laughs> down here does that often, stays open to tell everyone they're out of chicken. <laughs> that is so stupid. That'd be like you go to the bank and they're out of money. Just close. Just why are you open? Just don't. Because their boss has said they had to stay open. <laughs> oh my God. Can you see the dogs? The little dog yeah. and Yeah. Where's that? Well, that one is a demi. That that's my stepdaughter's dog. And I don't know if you can see Dorothy or not. Yeah. No. I saw no. a, a sneak peek of somebody look like a small pit bull. No? Dorothy is, is a lab, and I think she's mixed with some kind of a, a you know, those small pit bulls, mm. not the big bulky ones, but the little ones. Yeah. Yeah, because every like once a, in a while she looks at me and I'm like, mm, I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> like a pocket pity? Like one of those yeah, like yeah. Pocket. Those pocket pitties are adorable. And it's like they have they're almost like a dachshund, like a like a dachshund, like the little tiny short mm -hmm. one, right? <clears throat> Hi Shannon. There's Art Junkie. Oh, dogs are yes, better than yes. people. Jeannie says dogs are better than people. Oh, yes. most. Like a billion percent. I, like I can show you a picture of my doggo. Yeah. Dog. He's so cute. Oh. I love him. He looks so small in that picture, but he's like 110 pounds. Yeah. Yeah. He's a big boy. Yeah. I, I got to meet your puppy. Hi, Gary from Urban Yarn. Oh, uh, Gary's got to come up. Uh, tell Chad I said hi. If you're if you're done with your walk and we're still on, you can come up here. Just send me an email. Gary and I were chatting earlier today because we, we we were planning something special, but we can't tell you what it is. Oh, way to be a tease. <laughs> we were being very sneaky today. We got something. We got something done. But that's just you know me and Gary. Yeah, that was just me and Gary. You know, me and Gary. we're like that. You know, <laughs> we're like that. We're tight. Hey, I had him held captive in my car for like eight hours. So <laughs> everyone's saying hi to Gary. Daughter had a staffy Staffordshire Bull Terrier was the most loving baby. Oh. Yeah. Maybe I mean, how do you tell us in the chat what kind of uh, dog or cat? How many dogs or cats? Oh yeah, that that's cool. Let's see. I just have my old man. 
camo. How old is he now? Uh, he's probably between 12 and 13. He's a rescue, so we don't know his exact age. Well, Dorky's a rescue, and she's a, she was a year old when I got her, and she's 10 this year. Yeah. she's She looks smaller than camo. Oh, yeah. She's a small a small. How much lab. does she weigh? About 60 pounds. Oh, no, she's about the same. Camo is about 60 to 70 pounds. So she's the same well, size. She, well, you know, except that she's, you know, a little chunky. Oh, like no, Camo's not, Camo's not chunky. He was put on a diet a couple of years ago because of arthritis. So he's a slim guy. Um, See, all right. So he's bigger. He's a little bit, he's tall. He's tall because he's a lab mixed with a coon hound. So, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. So uh, we know Gary has a dog. Um, Bountiful Crochet Creations has two dogs. What kind of dogs? Jeannie has one dog. K and K, they have two dogs, a Boston Terrier named Hot Rod <laughs> and a lab named Roxy. Oh, <laughs> oh yes. has, Hi, Fudge. Allison has a cat named Fudge. Oh, my God, a cat named Fudge. Kimberly has two kitties. Mary has a Lynx Point Siamese named Coco. Oh. Cecilia awesome. has an 11 year old kitty cat. Off the Hook has a kitty cat named Bella. Oh my God. My uh, daughter's best friend just got a cat for his birthday. And she's like, I'm going over. I have to meet the cat. The cat's name is Dudley. Oh my gosh. And we are both <laughs> severely allergic to cats. And I go, you know, you're asking for trouble. Take at least one allergy pill and the bottle with you when yes. you go. <laughs> so. You're like, and when you come back, do COVID procedure and like, <laughs> Right. In the garage, strip down, lights all you all up. Yeah, don't bring that stuff in here. Someone has a miniature poodle named Jasmine Lulu. Oh my Aww. god, that's so Jasmine funny. Lulu. Two Chihuahuas. Oh, Shay Roxy and Roxy. That's nice. Shay K Ray. Hi. Miniature poodle named. Oh, that's the Jasmine. Jasmine Lulu. No, oh, I love that you kept his name, Allison. Fudge. Two kitties, Gracie, Lou, and Scout. A cat named Mindy. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Seriously. Oh, Jax. Rose um, and I both have teenagers that I, I think they're all like a couple of apart. Jax. <laughs> you didn't include your husband in that. <laughs> Shay K. Ray. I know your name is Sharon. I just like to say Shay K. Ray. <laughs> A polydactyl cat. That's kind of cool. Oh, that's six, right? Doesn't that have six six toes? Six toes, right? Three corgis, panini, truffles, and biscuit. <laughs> we have a corgi <laughs> in our neighborhood. Stop it. Stop it. <laughs> oh, my gosh. They have cat food that takes away the dandruff that we're allergic to. Yeah, but you can't get everyone to buy that food. So, unfortunately... <laughs> Yeah. Oh my God. That's hilarious. I would have 10 cats if I wasn't allergic to them. Like seriously. Cause you no, could actually, you I would, you could take a vacation and just leave some food out and they're fine. And they'll just, you know, shit in the, in the litter box. You hope. Uh, if not, it's just cat yeah, you know, cats are known to be angry when you leave the house and will, you know, leave it on your bed. Yes. Well, that doesn't matter. It's not ever going to happen because I'm severely allergic. Three dogs, a German Shepherd, Boxer, Huskies mix, Blade, Miniature Chihuahua, Raven, and a Shih Tzu, seven months, Aww. a rescue cat. Oh, boy, you are full oh. house. I love it. I love it. Yeah, we went through the whole reptile phase here at my house. So We, we did, had, too. We had a leopard gecko. So we had, a leopard, we had a leopard gecko named Bob. And then we had two bearded dragons. Uh, one was Spike and one was Elvis. And then we had a Greek land tortoise. Her name was Tulip. Mm -hmm. How we big had, was she? She she was like, you could hold her in the palm of your hand. She was oh, small. Okay. Yeah. She was in like a 40 gallon, 50 gallon tank. Uh, two Maine Coon cats. Ooh, Emma and Parker plus three rescue kitties. Oh, oh. I'm always trying to win over my friend's Maine Coon. Uh, hasn't happened yet. No, 
No. I even cat sat over there and still. Still nothing. No. Diane says, Rose, can't you just take medicine? Well, sure. If I want to be drugged up every day of my life, I could, but I don't want to. So. <laughs> really? Oh, huh? Shannon says we went through the lizard phase too. Oh, fudge I'm just so glad my kids didn't do that. You can't even pee in peace. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, that's so funny. Yeah, no, it's not worth. It's not worth it. It's not worth it to be drugged up. But like everyone else in my family is allergic to dogs, so I don't ever have to worry about them coming over. <laughs> <laughs> you know what's crazy so we went we had to go to um oh what are those allergists right and uh they tested my daughter for all these because she has really bad food allergies and they tested her for uh allergies for dogs and she was allergic to dogs and we had already had camo for like a year and we were like this is bullshit like how she's not allergic to dogs she lives with one she sticks her head in his fur like 99 percent of the time she's not allergic to him Maritza, hi. A one Jack Russell girl, Trini, who is 17. Oh my. That's awesome. Paca Lolo is legal in Vegas. What is that? What is Paca Lolo? Am I saying that wrong? I don't know what that is. Off the hook, let me know what that is. All right, so Carolyn is not doing yarn crafts right now because she's got a bum elbow. Yeah. Kim, we're, oh, Mary Jane. Is that what that is? Paca Lolo? Mm. Mar oh, marijuana. Oh, oh, I see weed. <laughs> like, I, I don't know these old names for that stuff. I know, right? <laughs> We just said pot when we were growing up. You got any pot? You got a five? You got a dime bag or whatever? <laughs> got a joint? <laughs> a joint, yeah. You want to go smoke a joint? I'm just kidding. I don't do that stuff, you guys. But it is legal here in Illinois. So Here too. I wish it wasn't because I can't enjoy having my windows rolled down when I'm driving anymore. Because oh, because everyone's happens. smoking pot. Well, yeah. it's either they're smoking pot or they're smoking... Um, Oh, Paca Lolo is Hawaiian for weed. Thank you for letting me know that. Thank you. I'll just say that. Um, it's either that or cigarettes. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah, Kim, that's okay. I'm not, she's not going to drive next to you. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you learned something. Well, like I've got five of them in my mouth at once and I'm blowing <laughs> big old smoke things out the window. Five cigarettes in your mouth at once. <laughs> Sure. Uh, uh, Instead of this, I'm like this. <laughs> Up your nose. <laughs> yeah, why not? Oh my God. Off the hook says you can't drive and smoke weed here. Hi, Cheryl. You well, get yeah, you're not supposed to. Off the hook. Where is that? Is that in, in Hawaii? Is that where you were talking about? Or is that in Vegas? Where you can't drive and smoke weed at the same time. You can't hear either. I mean, where can you? I didn't even yeah. know it was legal to do that anywhere. I don't think it is. Oh. But that's yeah, not yeah. My whole state smells like a Cheech and Chong fest for the month of April. What's April 20th? 420. Oh, yeah, yeah. Sorry. See, I'm so not a, I'm not a good, um, bad person. I'm not a good, bad person. <laughs> you're, not, you're not a good, bad person. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not good with all that illegal stuff. <laughs> <laughs> well, oh, it's not Vegas. fun anymore because it's not illegal. Okay, so in Vegas, you can't smoke weed and drive at the same time, but she's from Hawaii. <laughs> Off the hook, you're from Hawaii. Do you live there now? Holy crap, I want to go back. So pretty. I've never been. No, you should go. Yeah. I'd rather go back on another cruise. You can do a cruise around the Hawaiian Islands. We did that. Yeah, you know what? I watched a video about a guy who worked on a cruise ship that circled to the islands, and I was like, well, that sounds pretty neat. So, yeah. Yeah, because actually from that vantage point, if the volcano is running into the uh, water, you can actually see it at night. Oh, God, that would be so pretty. Hmm. 
Something Cic to think about, Kim. Cicadas yes, are coming is. soon. Yep, cicadas are going to be here, and yes. uh, we're going to be walking on cicada carpet. <laughs> oh, I hate that. Oh, my God, I hate that. Uh, I remember the first time I saw one of those, I was like, what oh is that gosh. thing? Hi, Michelle. There's Michelle's makery. She's in New Zealand. Hi, Hello. Um, if you go out like in the summertime here, when the cicadas are out, you can't hear yourself think. They're so loud. And this is like the and double you know, Like they just will come right flying at you. Well, I've never had any of them fly at me, but there's, they always, you know, their shells always wind up on the sidewalks and stuff. Here in yeah, Michigan, next to your front door. Legal. In what states is weed not legal anymore? Are we going to get in trouble for saying this on YouTube? <laughs> uh, in India, I think Indiana, it's not legal. Oh, hmm. I think we should go on a Hawaiian yarn cruise around the islands. Mm. Ooh, we should. We no, should. I don't want to go. I don't want to go on a cruise. I want to go there and I want to be in the ocean with the turtles and maybe do a whale watching cruise. Oh, okay. Shay K. Ray says, Shay K. Ray says it's not legal in South Carolina. <laughs> <laughs> right? <laughs> Florida is illegal still. Okay. Really? Indiana. Yep. Yeah, someone says Indiana. Had to refresh. What did you miss? You didn't miss anything, Allison. We're still talking about weed. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Not legal. Well, it's a bunch of potheads up here. <laughs> and none of us even smoke pot. <laughs> the only one that smokes cigarettes is Kim. We're so like goody two shoes up here. If you work for the government anywhere, it's not legal. That's not true. Where are you at in South Carolina? I'm curious. I have uh, family in North and South. Hmm. Illegal in Utah. Oh, That's I can see that. Point. There's yeah. lots of other fun things that go on in Utah. <laughs> so who needs weed? <laughs> Heck, Indiana just barely made either legal to buy alcohol on Sundays. What? Wow. North Carolina, not legal. Hi, Spoonie Stitcher. How are you? Hey, Shannon. <clears throat> Oh boy, boy, it got it's nine o'clock already. Ooh. I know. I, I'm staying up late tonight. <laughs> what time do you normally go to bed? Quarter after nine. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. <laughs> I'm old. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know what? That's not so bad because, like, what time do you have to get up in the morning? Uh, six thirty. But I don't go to sleep. We we do uh, bedtime stories where we just look at stuff on the internet for like <laughs> half hour, 45 minutes. I'm going to start using that. Bedtime stories. Oh, bedtime my God. Stories. Bedtime stories. That is so funny. If anyone in the chat wants to come up, you just have to send me an email, roselikescrochet at gmail.com, and you can be on our lovely panel up here. Allison, it's 3 a.m. Go to sleep, man. Go to sleep. Oh, my gosh. Carolyn, what time do you go to bed? Uh, usually by 10. Yeah. Yeah. Who's the Spoonie Stitcher? Hi, by the way. Shannon. What's your name? Shannon. That's Spoonie Shannon? Stitcher is Shannon. Okay. Yep, yep. Yeah, I normally try and go to bed by 10, but I have a kid who works and she doesn't get off work until 10. So, you know, yeah. the whole mom thing where you can't go to sleep until your freaking kid gets home. Have you thought about getting the hairless cat? Nope. No cat. Yeah, God. <laughs> Who's making a queen size afghan? You are oh, off the hook. Who's making a queen wow. size afghan. You are you are my. Oh, you sister. just made a full size afghan, practically, right? Oh, that neon, neon one is the neon one is queen size. Yeah, yeah, I love it. That one is pretty. I like that one, Rose. It's yeah. awesome. It's so it's awesome. Very pretty. Kim knows me. 
<laughs> Spoonie <laughs> Stitcher. Yes, she does. She calls you out. <laughs> yeah. Bridget, you go to bed when the sun comes up? Oh, my gosh. And say whoever said it was 3 a.m. It's like, I can't even remember the last time I was up at 3 a.m. That was Allison. Unless I woke up, unless I woke up to go from uh, Scotland. Yes, she said exactly. she's, a, she's a fully paid up member of Insomniacs Anonymous. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Jelly bean blanket. Hey, from is Scotland? that the, Carolyn, is that the blanket that everyone was supposed to do for the crochet along that I never did? Uh, that sounds familiar, yeah. What do you mean everyone was supposed to do? We had uh, like a local yarny friend challenge and the rest of us did it and Rosa did not. <laughs> I'm only five hours away. Can I be local? <laughs> yes. If you come and hang out with us at the Panera and then go to Michael's afterwards. <laughs> yeah, well. <laughs> <laughs> Rachel, oh my gosh, moss stitch. King size moss stitch. That'll take you forever. Oh my God. Wow. I'm so, convinced that the lily sugar and cream took out my elbow. I'm just saying. Yeah. Well, no more, no more washcloths for you. Mm -hmm. Oh yes, Paula said yeah. it was the jelly bean pattern. Thank you, Paula. So Kim, this is what happened. I was at Joanne Fabrics with Carolyn, and they had the mandala bonus bundles on an end cap, and she wasn't going to buy one. And I said, just buy one. You can make a baby blanket with it. And then she's like, yeah, we should all do a crochet along. And I'm like, okay. And I'll tell everyone on the YouTube channel to do it too. And then her and Paula and Philip all made one and I didn't. And I never even told anyone. We, well, I think I said we were going to do a crochet along and then I never like gave out any information. I <laughs> do that so, so much. I've done it. Oh my God. <laughs> I'm like, I think I'm going to do this. Or I'm going to do that. And then it's just, I don't. I'm such well, a liar. I made her buy like, you know, a $10 ball of yarn to do it. And then I never even like followed up on it. <laughs> <laughs> so it's a close by Carolyn. What it is. Yeah. Carolyn, is the app again near you anywhere? Can we see it or is it oh, too far I away? I donated it. But let me see if I can take, uh, find the picture of it. <laughs> Rose. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Oh, are you so this is why Rose and I are friends because we both have ideas, but then they just scatter away. <laughs> I thought it was a great idea, and then I just never followed through with it. And now I think I think my uh, first craft fair is going to be June seventh. So now I really need to buckle down and get my button gear and start making all the little things because it's going to be summer. So I don't need hats or you know anything like that. I'm making yes. bees right now. I have like twenty bees on the go. Well, you can't, just make, one. you can't just make one. Well, I have one from last year. I haven't made any this year. Well, I have one from all this other stuff. Well, I have one from last year, too, and they sell really well at craft fair. So I was like, well, I better make some more bees. I'm not See, mine don't. Make... Huh? Mine don't. The uh, keychain ones, the little keychain ones, I can oh. sell really good. Oh. But the big ones. Um. Yeah, mine are... I mean, I would get them, but they're not even put together yet. The bodies are like that. Yeah. Like that big. They're so, like four inches, right? Four or five inches. They're blanket yarn, and I use a seven millimeter hook. Oh, look. Oh, I just got here goes your heart. Can you see that? I just see a bunch of stripes. Yeah. What's the stitch? It's a, like a bean. Like there's two rows, I think, of um, there's a double and then. A half double, <laughs> and then I think a bean stitch. Oh, okay. Jelly bean. There you go. See, I can't do that, Rose. I don't have an iPhone. Oh, does it only work on iPhones? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. See, the last yeah. time we the I get nothing. We were here, um, Bridget, Bridget said, I think it was Bridget or Jack, someone said if you flip off the camera, it'll do something, or if you do... There was something to get it to do stars or something. I don't know. Yeah, I remember that. <laughs> so I kept flipping off the camera. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Here, I'm going to go get the neon blanket for those who haven't seen it. Just a moment and excuse the mess behind me. <laughs> Man, look at that mess. Oh, she should be ashamed of herself. Right? I know. That is so gross. What do you even see? <laughs> nothing. Yeah, you don't really. See I see nothing. 
Yeah. Oh, Jim, somebody was okay. asking earlier about the sweater on your mannequin behind you. Me? Yeah. The one hanging on the mannequin. Oh, this is something Lisa would love. It is my Jack Skellington sweater. Oh my gosh, look at oh, that. That's awesome. That's awesome. And then this side. Wow. <laughs> that is awesome, Kim. Yeah, I think I've worn it three times. That's okay. That's three times more than anything I've ever made because I haven't made anything to wear. <laughs> uh, thank you, Rita. Yeah, it is two rows, half double, and then the bead or bean stitch. Thank you. This is the... Uh, I love that. I mean, that it is literally so is queen size. So I started with the blue and then obviously the green and yellow, orange and pink. But it's huge. It's queen size. So, woo, I love it. Oh, yeah, I haven't. Um, oh, someone just subscribed to you, Kim. Yay. Yay, because I'm like Thank six you. people away from 1,500. Ooh, Ooh. awesome. Everyone go subscribe to Kim the Regretful Yarn Addict. Yes, please. please. Do you think that neon blanket would look good in baby pastels and white? Heck yeah. For yeah. sure. It's just a granny rectangle. It'll look good in anything. Especially if, if it's all pastels and then white. Oh my God, that's going to be beautiful. For sure. Yeah. That'd be so pretty. So the only reason I did this is because I had the stomach flu for like two weeks. <laughs> Carolyn was a part of the first day of my stomach flu. <laughs> you're like, oh, oh Carolyn, you're so lucky. <laughs> See, these are the kinds of things being a local friend is like. <laughs> okay, yeah, I'm maybe, I'm, uh, Jack, maybe I'm glad Kim, I'm five hours away. Kim, yeah, you should have. You were very glad at that day. So, um, Kim just put uh, Jack's just put Kim's link. So, if everyone can go and subscribe to Kim, thank then you, can, Jack. Then we can get a giveaway going. Oh, I've, yeah, I've got one. I said if I was 15 before my birthday that, yeah. When and birthday? my birthday is not uh, May 9th. So we got oh, time. Oh, my time. daughter's birthday. Really? Birthday. Yay. Awesome. Hey, anyone who wants to join just has to send me an email, rosalikescrochet at gmail.com, so I can send you the link to come on. I think someone asked that earlier. Um, is anyone doing... Uh, anything for charity right now? Roses. Well, yeah, but I mean, we're always doing wing stuff, like any other charities. I don't know if uh, K and K are still here, but they're always collecting stuff for. Um, they do a lot of good charity work. They might be gone. Judy just subscribed to you. Allison just Thank subscribed you. to you. Thank you. Yay. Yay. Kim, hey, I added a I oh, there's Kay. Kim, I added a couple subscribers to your account. Thank you, K and K. Oh, Jack says she sees 1500. Yay! Thank you, Thank everybody. You. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, let's get the balloons. There we go. Yay. Yeah. <laughs> now it's Oh, baby hats and blankets for the NICU. That's awesome. Hats for the Bumblebee Mountain Outreach. C-H-E-O blankets. Okay, I donate stuff to my church food pantry. That's awesome. So, you know, it's interesting because a lot of times when people get shout out, like it's just to get to a certain number, but you guys really need to watch Kim because she has so much talent. Like, I mean, we're not just saying get to get, we don't want just want a giveaway. We just, you know, I think it's really good when everyone supports everyone in the yarn community. So me too, Rose. And I try to do that. Yeah, because it's really not just about a giveaway. Because even after a fifteen hundred subscriber giveaway, you still want to keep watching. You know what I mean? Because Kim always has yarn and projects, and she'll tell you exactly how she feels. Like, like there's no, <laughs> there's no sugarcoating anything. On this channel. <laughs> I do not have a filter. 
Yeah. I and I, I don't have, edit. <laughs> I have, I edit and I have a filter, but Kim does not. And that's what makes her so fun and exciting. So, so you should. I literally, I, I put the camera up, I record and I hit share and that's it. <laughs> and it, I don't even remember what I've said in half of people are like, oh, blah, blah. And I'm like, what did I say? <laughs> Cecilia <laughs> just subscribed. Oh. Thank you. Rika Life, you're celebrating your one year YouTube channel anniversary next week. Is it called Rika Life? Let us know. Yes. Um, someone is sending you. Oh, Lynn just Lynn just subscribed. Hi, Connie. Oh my gosh, you guys. Thank you guys so much. Mwah, mwah, mwah. <laughs> Connie and Candace are on. And Connie and Candace just sent me an email. Hey, there's a package coming. Oh, here's um, hold on. Someone is coming. The Spoonie Stitcher is coming in. Hang on a second, guys. You Shannon. guys talk, talk amongst yourselves. Hold on. Oh, Rika, that bring me beanie hat looks super cute. I'm uh, scrolling your channel. Thanks for uh, letting me know about your channel. Congrats on your anniversary. It does get a lot easier to do this. Does it? Yeah, the first year I did it, I was kind of like, oh, I don't know what to say. And now I'm like, yeah, stuff just okay, comes out. Turn on the camera. Let's go. Yep. You have a filter, Rose. Allison, you know I have a filter. Like Rose has live, a filter. Live streams, I don't have a filter because I'll easily and happily stick up my middle finger to the camera. But like on regular <laughs> videos, I don't. <laughs> I know. It's like on a live, you can just. Let whatever. your hair down and be whatever. Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, uh, art junkie. I'm not on YouTube. No, she's just uh, my I am on video a lot for work. She <laughs> is my know? local. She used to be called my local yarny friend, and now she is my friend. Yeah, she took care of you when you had the flu. She's a friend. She, um, I feel really bad for all the people that were involved when my flu started. Yes. I'm just going to say that right now. It was, you're over-exaggerating. It was no, worse it, for you than us. It was <laughs> terrible. It was so, it was, yeah, it was hard to watch you not feeling so well. <laughs> Hi. Hi, Shannon. Hello. Hey, Shannon. Hi, Kim. <laughs> oh, it didn't work. Do you have an iPhone or are we supposed to get hearts? I, I did. I have a Mac. Oh, Oh, it's awesome. awesome. Here we, we go. go. <laughs> awesome. Yeah, this so is so I, cool. I spy I Alice on your shirt. <laughs> what? I spy Alice on your shirt. Yes. That's so cute. <laughs> it's um Alice, Minnie, Lady, Tramp, Pinocchio, Dumbo. Oh, my gosh. The best shirt. That's so cute. <laughs> I, li I literally made an Instagram short about how much I love this shirt. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. Nice to meet you, Shannon. Yeah, I watch you all the time, Rose. Oh, really thank exciting. you. I'm, thank I'm you. a lurker, though. I'm really bad at lurking. I forget <laughs> to leave comments all the time. But I like the videos. <laughs> okay, that's good enough. Huh? That's fine. <laughs> See, I I've started as soon as I pull a video up, I push that like button yeah. so that I don't forget. Yeah, I do that too. Because I usually I may not like the video, but I'll hit the like button. <laughs> well, I usually have it playing on my iPad while I'm working. And so sometimes I get distracted. So I have to make sure I hit the like button first. Yeah. And then sometimes I, I don't get to, uh oh, what happened to Carolyn? She oh, I mean, I'm just turning my light off. Oh, okay. Um, so sometimes I I can't make a comment because by the time I actually get back to the video, I forgot what was on the video. And so it's at least always liked. It's just sometimes no comment. Has anyone tried or got one of those fancy crochet oh. pillows? Are they worth it? Yeah. Allison, I got that. Is it the Valeri you're talking about? That yeah. Like that, that one that goes around your middle? Yeah. It's very helpful. I did notice a, a change in my neck and my shoulders by having that um, for my arms to lean on when I was crocheting. Well, because then your arms are up like at a better mm -hmm. position instead right. of you doing like this the whole time, right? Mm -hmm. I use a maternity pillow. Yeah. Like a boppy. 
Yeah, any kind of the any kind of pillow that'll go around, I think, um, you know, would be helpful. I think that the Valeri pillow is more expensive, I think, than it's worth. That's just my two cents. Um, but the boppies that I was finding weren't enough to go around like by my elbows. So hi. <laughs> um, who is the one that did a whole video on that? Was it Strawberry Bonnie Crochet? Someone did like an entire video on like, and they bought like six or seven of the different like pillows and like did a review on them. If you, if you search YouTube for like um, crochet pillow, it would probably show it come up on there. Mm -hmm. Wasn't like the crochet kitten or something, something like that. Didn't she do one? I don't know. It wasn't, it was someone like a bigger name. It was like a bigger name person that did it. Okay. Someone says, I stack up blankets on the sides of my back pillow. Oh, that's a good idea. I love the cats to prop my arms. I love that. <laughs> Ross, you do not use cats. <laughs> you stop it. They wouldn't stay there anyway. No. <laughs> oh, my gosh. That's hilarious. Who, um, does anyone know, um, Russ, it's raining yarn. Has anyone, I hope you're all subscribed to Russ. Russ is like the master yarn hauler. <laughs> is this the rust that um craig talks about yes all right it's uh his channel is called it's raining yarn and it's literally raining yarn at his house like all the time <laughs> where, where, where does rust live i don't know Russ. where do you live i can't remember and, but he does not use cats for pillows. I, I guarantee you. Well, if it's raining yarn at his house, I want to go. <laughs> With a basket. <laughs> With an I'll umbrella just turned upside down, right? So you can- Here we go, Ro, let it fall in. <laughs> <laughs> um, someone said like Ross. No, it's not Ross. Like not smells great guy. The name of his channel is, there you go. Jack's just yeah. up for his channel. It's raining yarn. And someone is talking about prism glasses. What's prism glasses? They let you look straight ahead and see your work below you in your lap. Ooh, really? Okay, Russ is in Southern Michigan. Really? <laughs> I'm, you know, I'm from Michigan. That's, that's where I grew up. <laughs> don't, you, don't you scare Shannon like that. Pauline <laughs> just said, be careful, Shannon. These three are potheads of the olden days. <laughs> Pauline, yeah. Pauline, we're trying not to scare her off. Oh my God. <laughs> what did I say? No, not you, Pauline. No. Oh, oh, everyone oh. that we're potheads. <laughs> oh, yeah, well. I used to have Kim's fun not, when I was young. Kim's not denying it. <laughs> well, I'm not. I had fun when I was young. <laughs> Oh my God! Then I got old, and I just uh -huh. don't don't want to be bothered anymore. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God! Okay, Jack says keep an eye out for Russ's July countdown box. Uh -huh. Ooh, yeah. Off the hook says I'm a product of hippies. <laughs> oh my gosh. You guys are awesome. We have 93 people in here. That's so much fun. That's so cool. <laughs> yeah, that is so exciting. I'm not, well, I don't. Have you tried any of the subscription boxes, like for different companies? Like I do. I have a lot. I have subscribed to a ton of them and reviewed a bunch. What are you, what are you subscribed to still? Still, I, well, not by my choice, but I can't unsubscribe, but my credit card's about to die in a month, so I don't care. <laughs> Um, <laughs> I'm still subscribed to Crochet Society. From yeah, England. that one will not let you go. Right? <laughs> I'm like, finally they sent me some email or something. I was like, oh, I don't want to belong to you anymore. Unsubscribe, unsubscribe. And I think I'm done. Okay. Okay, go on. I'm sorry. That's okay. Um, I did do the year of um, Club Crochet. He did, he did a, an annual, he decided to do four boxes and honestly, the patterns are terrific and um, Louie is a great teacher, but I think the yarn is really, if you have arthritis, nerve pain, any kind of hand pain, the yarn is just going to be too much for you. 
Hmm. Uh, and I do. I have neuralgia. So, um, yeah, I've also, I can't subscribe to any of the ones that have really nice stuff usually, except I did subscribe to, um, what's it called? Hooks and Needles. Okay. How do you like it? I've been thinking about that one. You know, I do, although I didn't understand this one. March, and they gave me wool. I, I didn't get that one, but um, <laughs> I, th I, think, I think the cotton is coming. And I have to say, the product, I mean, it's nice yarn. It's nice hooks. I mean, they. this is not cheapo stuff. Even the yarn needles to sew your work, they were really nice steel. Yeah. And I honestly think it's a really, really good deal. And I love that you can, you know, pick. Like, if you want to skip a couple of months, you can do that. You don't have to do every month. You can do it bi-monthly. They have all kinds of options that you can constantly change. That's nice. All right. Okay. And um, Kim, I actually did a whole I did a whole video on them if you saw on my channel. But yeah. I'm still subscribed to your channel. What? <laughs> I said I still subscribe to your I channel. Oh no, I know. <laughs> I just it's just you know what? I I I'll be honest, there's only like three people I watch regularly and um because i'm always so busy i get that making shit <laughs> and if i'm watching somebody <laughs> then i'm like i'm watching what they're making and it's like hmm. but i'm gonna be taking a break from making stuff in a minute so i'll catch up on everybody and yeah. i will catch up on your hooks and needles thing yeah, I, I kind of turned my channel into like the review channel and it just kind of happened. I don't know. I just reviewed the safety eye snapper thing from Craft Easy Tools. Oh. And um, they, they actually sent me that, which is pretty cool. I reached I reached wow. just, enough, just enough people to be noticed. <laughs> um, you know what? A, a, a pen that's, you know... Just the pen part will work as a safety eye thing too. Oh, cool! Instead of That's like it. getting one of those little puncher things, I have the I have the Amazon one with the big ball on the end. I do that one too. Isn't there like a well, on Instagram? I see what is it? Crochet by Jenna or someone always is advertising their own like brand or their own line of these. It's like a piece of wood with like holes in it. I just and I just use a washer from my toolbox. There you go. Hmm. That would work. There are some. There are some. Honestly, I can just do with my fingers. But I also make these guys, my Broadway bears, which are enormous, and their eyes are like twenty-four millimeters. Oh, that I cannot do with my hands. The stem is so short. Oh, and the washer is so large. It's really hard to clamp them on there. So I actually found out that this new tool is pretty handy for that. So, yeah. Can you show us the tool? Do you have it there? Yes, I do. This is the most recent prototype. And how do what you, do you squeeze it? Mm hmm. Oh, that is cool. Ooh. Are there holes in that little section there? Oh, this, this this one. So it goes through the top. Right, right. And then the eye sits here. Oh, oh I like that. You could chase someone around the house with that. <laughs> <laughs> you get you. <laughs> I think anyone I did that to in my house, there'd be a heart attack issue. So no. <laughs> um, <laughs> oh my gosh. But, yeah. This wait, one wait, where like, did you get that from? Mike. From Craft Easy Tools, he sent it to me. Crap, crap. Can you can you email me the link for that? Sure. Thank you. He's starting a Kickstarter on the 18th of April. And okay. it'll be and this the new one will be made out of I sound like an ad. The new <laughs> one will be made out of something called um glass filled A B S. Okay. So it's supposed to be a lot stronger than plastic. Okay. And cool. um this part is new. It's so quiet now, which is nice. He gave me the old ones too. Um, 
so I could do a compare and contrast video, which I just made. Like <laughs> someone's <laughs> ass. <laughs> Is that all you do, Shanna? You just sit there and make videos all day? <laughs> Off the hook said that you could use that to pinch someone's ass. <laughs> that would be a very little tushy, I'm just saying. That's a not nice a hard pinch. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. I think they're gonna I think the official name I see people asking. I think the official name is going to be the safety eye snapper. Oh, that's a good name. That's catchy. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. And this and is we would just call it snapper. <laughs> Connie. <laughs> Connie said Candace would definitely get her with that tool. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. We went I like it. We went from smoking weed to pinching booties. <laughs> this is how the lives go over here. <laughs> and we don't even have Craig on tonight, and it's getting raunchy already. <laughs> I'm going to have to rethink my username. <laughs> <clears throat> oh, hi, Thrifty Crocheter. Rose, I think it's cool you make stitch markers as well as crochet. Yes, and I am having a sale in my Etsy shop. I have extended it through the month of April. Buy three, get one free. Value up to five dollars. I just can't think. Make sure you put four in your basket, and she'll give you a refund on one. There you go. Kim watches. Kim knows. Kim knows. Yeah. So I'm trying to um, do something a uh, uh, little extra with my jewelry business. And um, Friday night after dark with Madame Rose. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I have a, a lot of inventory, so I'm just trying to whittle my inventory down a little bit before. Hey, Rose, I can I show the frame yeah. I made? Sure, I love it. Oh, I don't want to catch the light. Hang on. So it's just a piece of 12 by 12 like metal that I put in the frame, and then you can use the notches to hang them up. Wow, that is awesome! That I have it oh. hanging on my wall. It's like art. I'm gonna do that. <laughs> Carol, you have, some empty, Amazon. <laughs> you have some empty spots in there. You're gonna have to let me know what else you want. I'll that's, just. Um, that's my second one. The other one is not full either. So yes, I I should place an order. You but like I said, I'm it. always using the same one. Yeah, that's, you should not place uh, an order. You should animal just, dog. Is you should not one. place an order. You should just text me. Okay, I will. Because you could always give me yarn as a as a. Treat. I sent my sister your, the link to your Etsy shop, and I think now she wants an F bomb. Oh, sweet! But well, you can make. Oh, you can't make her an F bomb. No, she wanted me to make her a baby blanket too, and I was like, no, I can't right now. Well, I got baby blankets in my Etsy shop too. Just send her send her to my Etsy shop. I'll take care of her. Yes. Where is Craig? We don't know. I don't know where Craig is. Oh, Craig is off says, with his boyfriend. No, his he broke up with him. Um, oh yeah. Uh, off the hook says party people. And Rachel said, maybe p you can pinch some asses while you're smoking pot. <laughs> <laughs> no, because when you're smoking pot, you don't want to do anything. <laughs> <laughs> no, just, well, I don't know. Why not pinch some asses? It's fine. <laughs> oh my God. Right. What did you do? <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Oh, you guys are awesome in the in the chat. This is hilarious. Yes, I needed the laughs. Thank you so much. This is <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, so what time? What time is it? Oh, it's it's nine thirty. Don't tell like, Kim what time it is. I don't know what time it is. We're trying it's, to keep it from Kim. Like it's an hour earlier than that. Yes, so that's right. Out. She's not going to be able to do her normal bedtime stories. No. <laughs> Diane wants to know oh, what well. the stitch marker holder was made of. It's just a picture frame, right? Um, yeah, I'll try to, I'll look up the links and send it. It's a, it's a 12 by 12 picture frame. And then the piece that's this metal piece is just, they're, um, sold in 12 by 12 metal sheets. And I think there's two sheets per pack. So then I just took the glass off, used the frame and then, uh, just hung, I only put one of them through the metal and then I hung the rest of them on it. Can you see that? Mm -hmm. That is cool. Now I get to see Rose's art all the time. Hey, ho. Uh, <laughs> Kim, is that an Amigurumi sheep on your shelf? 
Yes, there is. Because someone is asking. And you would like to see it, please. This is Skull. Oh my gosh. That's adorable. Oh, He's my, my bad cat. Oh, so cute. What is, wait, what is Russ say? I sent a box of yarn to Lucas Yarns. He thought it would never end. So I wanted to send a bigger box, but my home scale only goes to 15 pounds. <laughs> Hi, bandana grandma. Someone said, uh, bandana grandma. Looks like I stumbled upon this fun site a little late to the party. No, we're just getting started. <laughs> oh, Rika life is going to come up. Hold on a second. You guys talk amongst yourselves. All right, I'm going to hop off, but I can come back later. Okay, well, I'm going to hop off in like 15 minutes because I got to take care of my puppy, so. Okay, we'll give him some love for me. Okay. Oh, well, thank thanks, Carolyn, for joining. Oh. oh, Lordy, Lordy, Lordy. <laughs> have you been doing market stuff, Kim? I do not have any markets coming up yet i love it when rose puts her fingers up there to the camera <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah i'm doing this on my phone so it's like i have this much space to like see everyone and the chat and then if like a whatever you know what i mean I know. um okay so carolyn is just off camera so she can chat okay now um 9.30. Yeah, I got about 20 minutes, and then the dog is going to start harassing me for his his cheese. He's on, like, pain medications, and I put it in a piece of cheese. So, yeah. Um, so, Russ sent um, Craig a box that was never-ending, too, of yarn. They were minis, right, Russ? I think it was minis, and now Craig is making, is he making a blanket with them? He's doing something with all the minis. Oh, that's so cool. Okay, hold on. We're letting Rika in. Hello. Hi. Hi. There's music playing. Hold on. I think my daughter has the game open on the clock. Okay. Hi, everyone. Hi. Nice to meet you. You too, Rose. I watch you all the time. I love oh. your yarn yakking videos. But you never comment. I I must have at some point. Now I just, as you guys said, it plays in the background. And <laughs> I always hit like, though. I always hit like at the Thank very beginning. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. I, I, I had no idea because I never see comments. And so I usually when I see comments for like other YouTube channels, I'll go and I'll click on it and see if I can subscribe. But like, I can't do it if, if you don't comment. So well, now I know who you sense. are. So, oh, look at those pretty mandalas. Yeah. Oh, oh, very oh, nice. So pretty. Thank you. I'm going to go grab a soda. I'll be right back. Okay. Bye. I was already in my jammies, Bye. but I saw all of you hanging out and <laughs> my kids are asleep and my husband's gone to them now. So I was like, let me just, I've always been wanting to join these things, but I never, you know, awesome. never to get on. So I think the last time I did a live, um, Litza from Coco's Crochet, she was in she was in the chat and she was like, oh, I really want to come. And I'm like, just come up. She's like, but I'm in my pajamas. I'm like, who cares? It doesn't matter. Put on a shirt. Yes. Put on a shirt. We don't I care have what you look like. here. <laughs> we don't care what you look like from the waist down. Just put on a nice shirt. And she made like a hat the entire time like we were on um we were on the live. So so I got to meet my my girlfriend Litza. We had our first date. So oh now this God. is Rika in my first date. <laughs> <laughs> and Shannon in my first date. Woo! Woo! Yeah, we're dating here. We're smoking weed, whatever. We're <laughs> <laughs> oh Bridget it's okay it's okay I know you watch everything I love Bridget if, if you guys are not subscribed to Queen's Crafts by Bridget you need to go and subscribe to her too did you finish your I think you finished your wedding dress she's she crocheted her own wedding dress it's gorgeous oh, nice. yeah you guys have to go and check her out for sure thrifty crocheter do you have a YouTube channel let me know um, so Rika, tell, tell me about you since I, 
I'm not subscribed to you. Tell me about you. Well, that's my name, Chandrika. And Rika comes from the second part, the last half of my name. And um, I, this year will be 10 years of me crocheting. Yay! yay. Yeah, one year on YouTube next week. Yay. Oh, yay! yay! Party! Thank you. So it's been very exciting. I um I love making things for charities. So I make um, caps and blankets for the babies in the NICU. And then I make shawls and hats for cancer patients. Awesome. And uh, my husband works at a hospital. So I just donate it directly through him. And um, I do that a couple times a year, probably four or five times a year. The rest awesome. of the time, these are my favorite things to make, these mandalas. Those and, are gorgeous. Um, yeah. Where do you I'm, live? Rika. I live in Houston, Texas. Okay. Yeah. Yep. Been Texas here for about house. ten years now. I, I was I born and raised in Toronto, Canada, and um, moved here after I got married. So it'll be, it's been it'll be eleven years now this year. So. Nice. Yeah, that's a good difference between Toronto and Houston. Oh yeah, especially <laughs> the weather. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It's cold there, and I keep bothering my mom. I'll call her, and I'll be like, look at me. I'm outside. And she's like, stop bugging me. I'm like, just come here. Why are you sitting in the winter still? <laughs> no. Oh, my gosh. Oh, it's someone's coming up. Hold on a second, guys. No? No, I think we're good. All right. Um, that might have been you, Kim. <clears throat> okay, Thrifty what did Crochet. I do? <laughs> Thrifty Crochet says her channel is only two weeks old. So, oh, um, yay, good for you, Dax. If you can find Thrifty Crocheters channel and put a link, please, and let's get Thrifty Crochet some people to go over and harass her. I mean, I mean, watch her. <laughs> <laughs> well, I have a question for all of you that have been on for more than a year. Um, do do your watch hours reset after the three hundred and sixty five days? Like, how does that work? Because I'm not close enough to the 3,000 hours, and um, I don't know. No, it's 4,000 hours. Yeah, they changed it. There's one thing that says 3,000, and one thing says 4,000. So I don't know, but I'm in like I'm around 2,200 watch hours. So oh, well, I don't know what's gonna happen. I don't. I still haven't hit my 4,000 watch hours. But it hasn't. You know, it doesn't. And reset. I've been doing it for almost three years. Okay. Litsa, she's here. There, Litsa. We were talking mm -hmm. about you and my first date with you. You, you need to come up. I know you said you're painting, but you know what? Put that crap away and get in here. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> Hi, Joya. How are you? Okay, Jax put the link for Thrifty Rachel. So if you guys can go and check her out, that would be great. Uh, Jack says it's three K partial, four K full monetization. Okay. Yeah, at, at 3K, you get you can do like um, super chats and that kind of stuff. Okay. I can set up memberships now, but I yeah, I could do that too. <laughs> but I, that's too much work, man. It's like getting no. special stuff for members. I have a Facebook group and it's free. So I mean, you know, it's like I, I put up I put up bonus patterns, they get to vote. It's like being a member for nothing. So Yeah, I don't um I think I've gotten an email that said you can have members and I'm like, Well, isn't everybody already a member of my channel? I mean, why am I gonna make anyone pay for I have no time to give well, you Well, you have to do a special perk, Rose. <clears throat> I you don't have, have no special like perks. Mm. Yeah, exactly. I I I, my I would. I just don't have time. Yeah. Well, at least you didn't do this. <laughs> <laughs> no, I won't flip anyone off tonight. <laughs> oh, Litsa is painting the granny flat. Yay! Yes. That's awesome. Litsa, I want to see an update on your next video. She's got a like a garage. She's converting for her son and his wife. It's like a, we had our garage and we just converted it to like an apartment. So she's painting. Yay. That's so exciting. Awesome. Yay. All right, Litza, I will forgive you for not coming on another date with me. <clears throat> that's okay. I've got uh, Shandrika and I've got Shannon. So I'm like, we're doing a threesome up here. <laughs> oh my God. 
<laughs> but the hubby is asleep and not listening to this. <laughs> You're like, no, honey, it was just crochet. Seriously. I told him um, he got jealous the other day because I keep watching Juan, the yarn addict. And um, I'm like, I'm sorry. Are you jealous of the other man in my life? I'm like, <laughs> He's like, I come home, it's on, the kids are gone to bed, it's still on. I'm like, I'm sorry. <laughs> this is just eat, breathe, live, crochet. It's like it's never gonna end now. It's 10 years in, it's like this is just the beginning. Yeah, yeah. Okay, Coco, uh Litza says, love you all. Bye for now. Okay. Oh, awesome. Oh, Kim oh. is not top liver, Jax. Jax, I've already met Kim in person, so this is like our 10th date, so she doesn't count. I mean, she counts, but you know. I don't count. I'm just killed. <laughs> hey, listen, Kim, it's all on you. I've been asking you for three months when you're coming. All right, to look, again. I'm going to be up that way uh, the weekend of my birthday, actually. And I'm probably as far the last as I know, you want to see on your birthday. Well, no, my birthday's like on Thursday. Okay, but you're going to be partying on. with so, like your family. I think it's like Mother's Day, though, something like that. Oh no, Mother's Day, I think is oh no, there it is. When is Mother's Day? I don't know. It's May, always around my birthday. Like May 9th or something? No, that's my birthday. Uh is it the twelfth? Yeah, it's the yeah. twelfth. We're gonna be up there that weekend, I think. The eleventh well, and twelfth. <clears throat> the next time after that, because you know, I have to be with my mommy on her on, on Mother's Day. Yeah, I can't be with mine. <laughs> Doesn't everyone need to be with their mom on Mother's Day? Well, some of us can't be. I know, but if you have a mom, you should be with your mom on Mother's Day, right? My dad is hanging around here somewhere, but my mom's out in the Pacific Ocean. Yeah. Huh. Um, yeah, and well. Dana... Bandana Grandma says, is this a regular Friday Night Live? No, not really. It's kind of random. Sometimes it's on Saturday once every two months. I don't know. It's whenever I can get the energy to, to come on here and do a live. I'm sorry. It's not regular. <clears throat> I can't do regular lives with my stuff. I, I can't commit to anything like that, which yeah. thinks that I would forget. You would forget. I was like, I'm going to do this on Friday. I would forget. Yeah, I would have to schedule it like in my phone, like write it on the calendar so that nothing mm -hmm. else would get in the way. And life is too busy right now for me to schedule something on a weekly basis. So um, I used to do regular lives too, but not anymore. Life happens and gets in the way. Yep. So I almost tried a live, but then I saw you guys. Oh, I'm sorry, Thrifty <laughs> Crocheter. We took your thunder. Does anyone know what's happening with Ginger over at the Yarn Geek or Kim at Affordably Crafty? I haven't seen any of their content. Ginger just them. posted something, but I have not seen. Um, I haven't seen Kim, Kim for yeah, a I've long seen time. Ginger's posts, but not any. Like I've seen a video she made about working through her whips and stuff, but after that, I haven't seen anything. So she um, she's been posting on TikTok. Okay, so I don't use TikTok. I think I, I'm too old for TikToks. <laughs> <laughs> um she yeah because every time i log into tiktok she's there's a video from her okay. so <clears throat> okay someone just came on here from australia besides litza brett blog hi from adelaide australia hello australia yay okay pauline hello is mate to oh that <laughs> was pauline english is, that was wrong pauline is sub to everyone yay thank you pauline, thank you, pauline. Yay. Yay. <laughs> I just subscribed to everybody who, you know, been having a leak. Cool. Words. I couldn't find my words. That's okay. Words are hard when it's past your bedtime, Kim. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Amy says Kim at Affordably Crafty hasn't posted since last September. Wow, that's a long time. Yeah. I haven't seen her do anything on Instagram either. She used to do Instagram stuff all the time. Not videos or anything, but just regular posts. And I haven't seen her either do anything there. Yeah. You know, as long as we all stay subscribed, like don't unsubscribe to people just because they're not, you know, posting. And that, that, that way when they come back, you know, we get the notifications and we can just pick up where we left off. So... 
because who knows what's going on with people, yes. right? You have to give them all the benefit of the doubt. Off the hook, are you leaving? Good night. Thank you so much for hanging out with us. Great night. Okay, Amy said she went on vacation and has only posted one since then. <clears throat> yeah, I don't know. Nothing since, okay. Yeah, so you guys are gonna hear some clickety clacks now because my dog thinks it's time for him to get his cheese. Yeah, it's like I got like five minutes before he comes in here and starts harassing me. <laughs> Give me the cheese, mom. <laughs> well, he doesn't know that there's a, a pain pill in there. He just wants his cheese. Yeah. He wants his cheese. He wants his yes. cheese. <laughs> it helps him sleep. Chandrika, do you have any pets or just children and, and husband? Yeah, no pets. <laughs> yeah, same thing. It's fine. <laughs> Did any of you used to watch, um, I think her name was Doris at Rose Cottage Studio. Yeah. Yeah. I loved yeah. her and then yeah. she went off YouTube. But she had, a, she had a goodbye video that explained like that she was no longer going to be doing it. So everyone knew that she wasn't yeah. going to be coming back. But she was pretty amazing. She was amazing. Um, I actually started a raglan top, my first ever following one of her patterns. And then yeah. it was gone. And only now I started making hexagon cardigans and I came across someone else who made a top very similar to hers. I was able to finish it and I'm so right. excited. It's on my channel. It's, Jax, but, yeah. you said she's still around. Who are you talking about? Are you talking about Doris? Jax says she's still around. Maybe she made another channel. I don't know. I, don't I know. love she her. Was... She was so like calming and just yeah. like. You know. She was so generous. She like yeah. gifted so many YouTubers. Yeah. yeah, it was amazing. Yeah. Um, she said yes, Doris. What cha mm -hmm. is it? The same channel, or she's just not posting? She's just commenting. No content. No like, content. Okay. Yeah, I don't know. We'll see what happens. Okay, the dog has not appeared yet in the <laughs> in the room. Once he comes in here, I'm gonna have to go. <laughs> Yes, our lives are like controlled by our pets, right? They um, are. Yeah, yeah. Did anyone, uh, Shannon and Shandrika, well, Shandrika, I don't think you guys are in the path of the uh, eclipse, were you? Yeah, I was, but. Uh, well, yeah, they were full. Cool. It was very cloudy and my son decided to fall asleep right at that moment. So like. <laughs> couldn't go outside so I was just watching it on the TV and yeah. my husband sending me pictures from work they all went outside and yeah but um we had people going up to like Waco Texas um to like stadium they bought tickets and it was like a whole thing so it was um it got really really dark here it was pretty pretty creepy but yeah yeah, yeah. what about you Shannon were you in the path yeah, we went outside. Um, my father looked up a trick with a colander. And if you get a piece of poster board, lay it on the ground, and you put the colander, all these little moons show up in the shadow. Oh, so, so got, cool. So we got a picture that way, which was pretty um, cool. And then he also made a pinhole camera, you know, with the box and the, yeah. We tried really hard to fit the phone in there and, like, take a picture of the reflection. And we were a sight. But <laughs> was, well, we tried. Oh my gosh. We do have a friend though. Um, he has this like telescope camera and he takes pictures of outer space all the time. They are so beautiful. I cannot mm. wait to see what he got because I'm sure his pictures are like outstanding. Yeah. So, but even I mean, the little shadow was cool. Yeah. I mean, you, you see a lot of stuff now coming out where like all these news channels where they had those mega telescopes and cameras and stuff and the pictures are gorgeous, but just to be there standing there and like witnessing it is like a totally different experience. Mm -hmm. So Yeah. Cause the atmosphere is so weird. It's very, it just, very it weird. It feels weird. Yeah. Yeah. It affected it a lot of me and my fellow Spoonies. Like I swear. Because we all woke up with something. I woke up feeling super sick. My other friend had trigeminal pain and she hadn't had months. Oh, and, wow. Um, and my mother was like crazy tired and she could not figure it out. And my other friend had a massive headache and she never gets headaches. Wow. Yeah. I was like, I'm telling you guys, <laughs> the eclipse. Yeah. It had to be, right? Because mm -hmm. nothing else was different. It's how and do you go? Day, we were all better. Hmm. Yeah. How do you go from like, full on sunlight to be like complete darkness, like midnight and then go back to sunlight. It like totally messes with everything in your body. Unless you live in Alaska for multiple years. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
Yes. So Bandana gam Let's Grandma is going. She's leaving. Good night, Bandana Hi. Grandma. Thank you so much for Good joining night. us. Yes, we have been on here for two hours. I know you guys have not, but um, <laughs> the dog is going to be harassing me pretty soon. So I'm going to say I'm going to have to go too. But Shannon, thank you so much for coming up. And Shandrika, thank you so much. I have so many people now to subscribe to. I'm so excited you. that you all came in the chat and like we got some links so that we can all go and subscribe to each other. Um, and uh, Jack's nauseous all day like motion sickness. She gets the same way when earthquakes are going to happen. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's like a premise. Wow. That's wild. Mm. Jax, you're like, you should be like on the weather channel. Now, yes. now let me tell you what's going to happen in about 10 minutes. And it's really, <laughs> um, <clears throat> so thank you everyone for coming up. I, uh, I'm not going to apologize for not being on here very often because life is just life. Right. I mean, yeah, we'll have to see when I can come up again. I have a, a 17 year old who is graduating high school in a month. So, uh, yeah, I know. I know Kim, can you believe it? Uh, so the calendar is already filled for April and it will be filled for May until she graduates. And then, um, and then my life will return to somewhat normal. So, <laughs> uh, miss your face too, Jax. I am going to go to the post office tomorrow and see if there are any more wings packages. And then I will have a wings video, um, probably early next week. And I have some stuff like for a regular yarn yakin video, but I just haven't. Oh, there's Nova Gnome. Hey. What are you doing, Nova Gnome? Just coming in here. We've been out here for two hours oh, waiting for you. We've been waiting for you. What's that? What did you do? <laughs> if you have an iPhone or a oh. Mac. Oh, no. no. Okay. <laughs> I'm <laughs> yeah, me either. Like, no. <laughs> this is a HP something. Oh, it's a, yeah. I guess if you have an iPhone or a Mac and you do certain, I don't know, what was the other one that you do? Oh, if you do this, like yeah, you get balloons. You get balloons. Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. yeah. There was something else the, other than the hearts. And I don't remember. Yeah. What. Didn't you make it rain or something? There was something, but I don't know what it was. There's something that Juan does, right? He does um for fireworks or something. I think, yeah. Something yeah. like that he does. I don't know. There, There is something. Oh. Else. I, I only know about those two. I tried flipping off the camera last time and it didn't two do it. Two thumbs down. <laughs> oh, thumbs up. Two thumbs up. Try two thumbs up. Okay. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <That's Wait>. Awesome. <laughs> we figured it out. Okay, so next time we have a live, we have to remember those three things. So, yeah, Nova, a day late and a dollar short. Come on, girlfriend. Where have you been? It's Friday <laughs> night. You're not out partying. I know you're not. <laughs> oh, two peace signs. What do we get here for two peace signs? Oh, confetti. <gasps> That's nice. awesome. What is the rocker fingers like this? That's not working. No. Nope. I feel like we're doing it wrong. Pauline, come know. to Texas. It's nice and sunny here. <laughs> Sunlight. I'll send Sunlight. you some sunshine. Aww. Well, anyway, you guys, thank you so much for joining tonight. I hope you guys have a great weekend. I will see you guys sometime next week with a Wings update. Uh, if anyone wants to send me stuff, uh, Pointer and Pinky. I did that. Pointer and Pinky. I'm about, okay. to, flip, I'm about to flip someone off here, Jack. <laughs> I think you're lying to me. Um, I do. I will have... Um, I'm not going to mention it on the next Wings video, but the guy that I um, volunteer with at Wings also does some volunteer work for a homeless shelter, and they are asking for washcloths. So he's like, hey, can you ask for 500 washcloths? And I'm like, sure, 500 washcloths, no big deal. <laughs> so You'll if have anyone them in a here week. on the chat would like to send me washcloths, not only are we collecting for Paula and the We Pop Up, but I'm also going to be collecting for the homeless shelter as well. So along with all the wing stuff. So yeah, if anyone wants to uh, donate some washcloths, I appreciate it. I'm going to email you, Rose, about this. Yes, perfect. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Okay, Jax, two of them. <laughs> we did that. Oh, yeah, we did that one. Something new, Jax. Like, is it like this one? Like, yeah. Oh. 
Oh, oh there you go. Oh. Oh, wow. That was fun. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Jax created a pattern for washcloths back with the first time we ever collected washcloths. Oh, um, so I made like everyone like created patterns and stuff. I think I made crystal. I made, I didn't make them, but I asked them. Jennifer from Cinnamon, Cinnamon Stitches created a pattern. Like a whole bunch of YouTubers created a pattern. And then, oh, what are we supposed to do? With I remember that. Oh, that's raining. Oh, here we go. I knew there was rain. Yes. And then, um, like they had so many washcloths, like for years, they had all of those washcloths. Like we literally got 5,000 washcloths when we, yes. when we asked for them. And so they were like, we don't need washcloths anymore. But now the guy, <laughs> the same guy who volunteers with me at wings also does the homeless shelter. And now he's asking for 500 washcloths. So I'm like, well, we can do that. We did 5,000 one year. No big deal. <laughs> Pamela, Pamela's adoring crochet has a lot of washcloth patterns. Yeah. I think I harassed her too. I harassed a lot of people at that point. <laughs> I'd have to go back and look, but there was probably like, I had a list of like 20 YouTubers and I actually sent them all a ball of yarn which not like they needed it, but I sent them all a ball of yarn and asked them to create a pattern and create some buzz around it. And it worked. So, <laughs> so, all right, you guys have a good weekend. We'll talk to you later. Thanks Rose. All Thank right. You, Rose. Thanks for joining Bye, me. Everyone. I appreciate you guys. Bye everybody. Thanks to everyone who subscribed. Yes. Thank yes, you everyone. Thank you so much. Bye. Bye. Bye.